That's a lot of rum. <clears throat> In my defense, it was a rough day. Hey y'all, my name is Nat. I hope you're having a terrific day today. And for this video, I'm going to be doing a fence reading vlog. So if you guys are unaware, Fence is a graphic novel series by C.S. Picat and illustrated by Joanne the Mad. This is a contemporary following a group of boys who are attempting to get onto this fencing scheme at <laughs> fencing scheme. <laughs> who are attempting to get on this fencing team at King's Row Private School. The main character, Nicholas, is the illegitimate son of a Olympic fencing champion and is there on a fencing scholarship, but the one condition to stay there is he has to make the fencing team. However, Seiji Kadayama, the newest hotshot in fencing, is not making it easy for him. I've heard great things about this from the people who have actually read it, and it's been on my TBR list forever. I thought it would be a perfect time of year to read this since it is Pride Month. I believe this has tons of LGBT plus themes in it. I I also think the two main characters, Seiji and Nicholas, are supposed to have a hate to love relationship. And as we know, that's my favorite trope, so of course I'm on board. On top of that, as I mentioned, it's fencing, and that's not really a sport I know a lot about, honestly, so I am very intrigued to see if I learn some extra stuff when it comes to that sport in this series. When I am filming this in June 2021, there are currently four volumes out of the graphic novel, as well as one book. I know the book is set in the same universe with the same characters, but I don't know where it takes place in terms of the timeline or anything else honestly I actually just learned about the book today if I'm being completely honest since I didn't know about it I'm not planning to read it for this reading vlog <laughs> obviously as you can tell I have the first volume physically but as I mentioned there are four so I will be actually utilizing my library to read the additional three okay I guess I'll update you when I update you Hey y'all, so um, please excuse my room's a little messy right now, but uh, I wanted to give you guys an update because I have read the first two issues of Fence and I'm already really enjoying it. Right out of the gate, I am learning a little bit more about fencing and just the sport in general. I had very minimal knowledge going into this, so for one, I learned that these aren't all sabers. Sometimes they're called Epes. I should probably know how to pronounce that since I took French in college, but um, I don't. We actually kind of do see a little bit of how the scoring works, as well as how a championship slash competition in fencing is laid out. That's actually what the first issue is focusing on, is Nicholas, our main character, going to a regional fencing competition. He is unlucky enough to go up against Seiji here, who is like the new up-and-comer. Everybody is expecting him to make the Olympic team. Poor Nicholas is so cocky and just headstrong and knows he is going to win and part of me loves that about him but the opposite side of that is secondhand embarrassment which I've already fallen victim to because of him. Nicholas is a newcomer. He hasn't been professionally trained like a lot of these other boys at the competition. He actually worked at a gym in exchange for lessons. Nicholas definitely has a chip on his shoulder. He is trying to prove himself in the fencing world. In the second issue, however, we then go into the all boys school. It's about six months later and Nicholas has gotten in on a fencing scholarship, but he has to be on the fencing team to actually maintain said scholarship. He is so sure he is going to do it and is hoping that this new school will just be a new opportunity for him but things go awry very quickly when he finds out his roommate is Seiji. Oh my god they were roommates. I already love the school setting I think it's very fun plus I really appreciate the subtle queerness and how diverse the cast of characters is. For example Bobby is one of the characters and although it is a all boys school and he uses he him pronouns he does like wearing the girls uniform. On top of that there is a heartthrob on the fencing team named Aiden and with him I love the coach because she is such a hard ass already but she has a wall filled with different sayings where if anyone says one of them she makes the boys run 200 suicides a that takes me back to my drill team days where we would get punishments like that but B one of the sayings on the wall is Aiden broke up with me which I think just showcases what kind of a character he's going to be and I know I already know that some drama is going to revolve around him at some point I also learned that that Nicholas's father has a legitimate son. With Nicholas's father as well as his half-brother, I thought something really interesting right out of the gate was the difference in coloration that we can see 
I guess I should bring it closer. So this is Nick's dad. This is his brother, but this is Nick. Already you can kind of see the juxtaposition between the two of them. And I appreciate how she even showcased that in the art style. With that being said, I do enjoy the art style. It is kind of reminiscent to like comic books, but also anime at the same time. And I really like that. Okay, that is it for now. I am hoping in my future updates that I can give them more as I am actually reading. So it's more real time. For this one, however i was reading the first two issues while i was waking up one morning and drinking my coffee so trust me even when i was having a reaction it was very <laughs> minimal because i was not awake yet except for my cringing when it came to the secondhand embarrassment and that probably would have been entertaining for you guys but it was painful for me however i'm sure there's going to be another one at some point It's time for a fencing lesson. <laughs> like I said, learning a lot about the sport. Also, the school heartthrob is roommates with the captain and like either unlikely friends or <laughs> douchey frat boy brothers, one or the other. Here we go. We got another nice color juxtaposition from Nick and his dad and his half brother. Mm, poor baby. How some people handle pressure. Some it's internal, some it's external. What a mood. Oh, Bobby's too short. Poor thing. Okay, so ignoring the curtain down the middle of the room, this was literally me and my best friend when we roomed together in college. My side, her side. Type A, type B. Love you, cat. Miss you. Volume one, down. The rest of them are going to be digital, so sorry, this is the only time it's going to be nice and fun in physical format. <laughs> Okay, so it's going to be really noisy because the person next door has been taking forever to mow their lawn, but look at how cute he is. I just, I really appreciate this panel. This, like, this whole panel is great. I love his facial expression, though. It's just so pure. It's so sweet. He's so excited to get into fencing and beat Aiden. I love it. I love it. guys Nicholas B. Aiden I'm so proud of him like oh this little cutie like he's so proud he feels so good in his mind if he beats Aiden that technically means he beats Seiji since Seiji lost to Aiden and I just I love his I love his logic there Saw me celebrating it's because our boy is pretty high in the pyramid i mean not surprisingly seiji and aiden are in the second place and then obviously the captain's at the top that makes sense but like wow also yay bobby he's in the three or more awesome stop I love this Nicholas keeps bringing up the fact that he beat Aiden and Seiji didn't and like he even has a little angry like manga thing on his fist <laughs> Guys, I was right. Aiden and the captain are actually like really good friends and Aiden blew off a date to come and like see what was wrong with the captain and he was nervous and guys it's really cute now they're watching old movies and like judging the fencing together. This is adorable. I love this dynamic. They definitely are kind of frat bros. 
Okay, final update. This is the chapter eight starting page. <laughs> And this is my favorite one so far. This is hilarious. This is great. You can just tell Nicholas is going to continue rubbing it in Seiji's face that he beat Aiden and Seiji didn't. <laughs> I'm ready for this. Guys, this is the fantastic queerness that I love. Bobby being like, yay, if you stay, we can have makeovers. And Nicholas being like, I would look awesome though. Love. I don't need a makeover. I have amazing fashion sense. <laughs> novel's about to make me cry. <laughs> Guys, please. Ooh, suck it back in. I'm sorry. This is some, this some tension. Like, you can't tell me this ain't tension. whole family go Kelly shirts. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I have a new I have a new ship. Um they might beat Seiji and Nicholas. Oh my god. Got a nice um juxtaposition and coloring again. Also a knife in my heart, if you were wondering. They're friends. They're friends. Oh my god. He adopted him. That's exactly what just happened. I love it. I love it. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. <sighs> okay. Wow. That was really sweet. Oh my god. Aiden's totally in love with him. Calling it now. Just, just call it it now. So, um... I finished volume three really fast. Whoops. <laughs> Just gonna download volume four while we're at it. Well, hello all. Um, so I have gotten into volume four and guys, first off, we have a different chapter page. That's cool, new art style. It's like the seal for the school, very awesome. I have once again read without talking to you guys. I only read the first chapter in volume four, so you know, not as much at least. We get to see Nicholas's half-brother and his interactions with Seiji. Clearly there is some kind of a past relationship there, whether it be friendship or just frenemies, but in all honesty, I am thinking they might have been more because just little things that are said feel as though they weren't just friends. They might have been more. However, it is also very clear that something must have happened between the two of them that is causing this rift for Seiji to have gone to King's Row and be so determined to beat Jesse. I am here to learn what that drama is, guys. I need to know. On top of that, the friendship between 
between Nicholas and Seiji has grown already and I adore it. It's so cute! Oh my gosh! Nicholas and Seiji having midnight talks as roommates and just discussing fencing and like a little bit of their relationship, specifically Seiji and Jesse. Also, Nicholas has officially been kind of humbled and just realizes, hey, rather than being so angry that Seiji is better than me at fencing, I should really just take the lessons that I am learning from losing to him and try and implement them to become a better fencer. So maybe eventually I can be as good as him. And I'm so proud of him. I'll, like, I love a cocky attitude, but if you can't back it up, it's a little Little painful to watch. I think it's just making Nicholas an even more lovable character. Also, this is just the final page and can we appreciate how good these boys look in their new uniforms? They're so cute. All right, so let's dive right in. Guys, I didn't know team fencing was like actually a thing. The more you know. Unsurprisingly, Aiden's just not showing up. Who's shocked? Not me. What was I literally just saying about Nicholas being a khaki shit? I love, but if you can't back it up, it's painful. And we're all ready to painful. Bobby, they made a banner. Him and his roommate, this is so pure. So cute. What, like, why is everybody at this school like the most supportive? I just, oh, oh no. Already get nervous. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I have no idea if you guys can hear that, but somebody in my neighborhood is just like slamming their horn repeatedly. What the hell? That was weird. Now Nick's getting to fence. It's their first practice round and Nick's up to fence. Oh my gosh. This issue's been hard on my emotions, okay? I didn't think I'd ever care about fencing this much. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Everybody teaching Seiji what the meaning of teamwork is? Love. Great. Fantastic. I'm serious, y'all. Read this for good friendships. They're great. They're, oh my god, they're so good. <gasps> they won! Yay! I'm not even a little bit surprised. Like, honestly, the entire way through, I you keep expecting a loss, and yet they keep surprising you, and I'm so glad about it, because, you know, it doesn't hurt my heart. <laughs> Guys. Nicholas is so defensive of the fact that anyone else could be considered Seiji's rival. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm his rival. He already has one. Thank you. This slot has been filled. Oh my god. Seiji's treating him. He's helping him. <laughs> Guys, I can't. They're really becoming friends now. It's it, Now it's a two-sided friendship. Perfect. And just like that, it's over. Not okay. All right, guys, it hit 100 degrees today, and yet I am still wearing a hoodie and cold. How is this my life? So I figured it was time that I should officially wrap up this vlog. First, let me just say, I cannot believe I read all four of those volumes so quickly. My heart hurts that more isn't already published. As I mentioned in the intro of this vlog, apparently there's one book already out, another either just came out or is coming out soon. I'm definitely gonna get my hands on those eventually, but um, 
for this vlog could not do that sorry however i do want to give you guys an official wrap up overall i think my official rating for pretty much the entire series is four and a half stars i think i gave the first volume four stars and then two and three was 4.5 and then the last one i will admit i ended up going with five stars i just love this series and all of these boys are stabby and supportive and i adored them i really am impressed at how each of these characters was so lovable easy to engage with and then that just made you so invested in their lives and their relationships which i just think is fantastic character work especially given the fact that a lot of this story is the boys all competing against one another and it makes it so difficult to decide who to cheer for because you like all of them even some of the ones who are kind of aggravating cough cough Aiden, cough, cough. They still somehow managed to win me over. Guys, the development of Seiji and Nicholas's relationship, two friends, gorgeous. This is so slow burn and I cannot wait to see how it's going to unveil itself to eventually hit love. I loved getting to see like Seiji's shocked facial expression when Nicholas took his hand and called him friend or when Seiji came up behind Nicholas and like grabbed his shoulders and started to try and help teach him to improve his precision so cute such little things that really showcased how their relationship had developed from the enemy's territory at the very beginning i'm also so shocked that somehow the series made me really interested in sports yes not sports ball but sports i can kind of enjoy shockingly must commend cs Picat for the amount of subtle queerness and the diversity throughout the story it just made it so welcoming and thankfully none of the drama throughout it was revolving around any of those aspects it was mostly just minimal angst usually focusing on the sport itself also just across the board the art is beautiful in this i mentioned it's kind of a mix between realistically drawn comic books but also manga it has very sharp lines and very great color usage that I think just draws your eye to it so even though some people have an issue with reading graphic novels where they just focus on the dialogue boxes this sort of demands your attention to look at the art and I really appreciate that I will say it does change and softens a bit in the last volume that might have been due to a change in either the artist's style or there might have been a different illustrator I'm gonna be completely honest I did not check probably should have but every single installment was gorgeous it was a great time highly recommend this series it was a perfect read for pride month i'm really just so shocked that i fell in love with like i said these stabby supportive boys because although they're all competing against each other at the same time they're all each other's biggest cheerleaders and trying to help them improve and i loved that about their relationships this was a fantastic graphic novel series i cannot wait for it to continue and i am going to be recommending this to anybody who enjoys a nice uh, lg LGBT sports contemporary not something I ever thought I'd really get into but this won me over I have now fallen in love okay guys so that is it for today as always thank you so much for coming to my channel today I really appreciate it make sure to hit like and subscribe down below I come out with videos on Monday and Friday but until then I hope you continue to have a terrific day bye